a clip from Wolf Like Me, which is streaming right now on Peacock. Congrats on the show. Wolf Like Me, tell everybody what it's about and who you play. Uh, so I play a character named Gary, uh, and uh, uh, the brilliant Isla Fisher plays this character named Mary, and, and the two of us quite literally collide into each other's lives. And the show is about baggage. It's about the baggage we bring into relationships. Uh, both of us have secrets. Uh, one of us has a bigger secret than the other. And uh, without revealing too much, um, the show is, it's, a, it's, it's such a brilliant sort of mishmash of different tones. So the director, Abe Forsyth, sort of does comedy one second, drama the next, and suspense the next, and it does all of them really in a cool, unique way. That's great. Now, we, the, we spoke to you when you were in Australia, right? I yeah, think you were yeah, on the yeah, show. yeah, yeah. Did you get to, what was Australia like? Did you hang out with Isla at all? Did she show you around? When I first got there, there was, you have to do like the two weeks quarantine and we'd do all that. And mm -hmm. there, literally you get there and nobody's wearing masks and you're like, There's, what's ha they don't know about COVID. And then <laughs> you get out and it's the greatest thing ever. You can go but do anything you want. Uh, and so I went to uh, see Sasha Baron Cohen, her brilliant husband. Yep perform uh, stand-up as Borat. And it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. And I was like, this is great. Like, I, I can do more stuff like this. And then the next day, they're like, we're shutting Australia down. <laughs> so <laughs> what, why was Adele there? I just want to really why was it I want to practice all my Sorry. actions tonight. Adele made the announcement. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> she's, yeah. Wow. She's like, she's like I never knew really Adele shut down, down Australia. Yeah, guys, it's not going to work because it's, uh, it's, Australia's got to close. <laughs> Australia's closing down tonight. Now, if we're talking big British singers, I want you've got a new texting buddy. Tell everybody who this person is, who you regularly share text messages with. I don't know if you guys know somebody named Mel C. Sporty Spice. <laughs> Talk to me about Mel C. I met her and I was really cool. I was like, really cool. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. I mean, I care. Yeah, I'm of course, gonna... like, I'm so interested in your work. We're artists. Wait, are you doing, are you for real with you're, me right you're now? Mel, you're Mel C. Oh, I'm Mel C, right? So you're you don't care about my work. No, I do let's, care okay, about you. Okay, you're, Mel C. Yeah, yeah. you're being Mel you're C. You're being Mel C. Fine, let's do it. Yeah, tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Adele was in the Spice Girls. Tell me more about myself. <laughs> She's from Liverpool. I want to know what you really think of me. <laughs> She's... Tell me oh, what wow. you know. <laughs> like oh, Rebel what? Wilson in Bridesmaids. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is, by the way. <laughs> oh my God. So you go up to her and you say. Anyway, she left the room and I was like shaking and sweating, and I still love the Spice Girls apparently yeah. a lot. Yeah, they're insane. They're, when you think back now to they're what incredible. the Spice Girls represented at that time, oh my God. it's everything the world everything. needs right now. By the way, still. Yeah. Like, Should we do it? The three of us? Yeah. <laughs> You know what I would do? You know what I would do? And I'm genuinely serious about this. You text Mel C. I would, and I'm, I would consider mm -hmm. four times a year, the three of us and Mel C doing an ABBA tribute band. I would do Done. that. Done. I would do that. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. Yay! Reggie, do you have a question for our guest this evening? Oh, yes, I do, James. The next question goes. This question goes to all of our guests, as usual, per usual, <laughs> occupying the space known as the couch. <laughs> uh, you know, Easter Island is a mysterious place. Uh, the holiday Easter is mysterious too. Uh, what do you think is equal in mystery in your life uh, throughout time that you have experienced personally or uh, fantasize in a world not <laughs> in yours, your world? Mm hmm Good question. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, good job. <laughs> it's a good job. Please thank Dakota Johnson, Josh Cad, Hippo Campus are here when we come.